So hello, and welcome back to the Brainwave. My name is Peter. Today we're going back to high school. We're going to talk to Mr. T. Smith, who's my senior year physics teacher. He does an awesome demonstration about how standing waves work. Uh, he uses a speaker, a string, this oscillator controller, and of course, a strobe light. So let's go learn about some physics. This thing generates waves at certain frequencies, and I can it sends the frequency to this thing, which is like a speaker, but it's a cool speaker because it has a little cone, it has a post on top that we can attach a string to. So normally speakers, cones just push air so that it goes to your ear, but now it's going to a post. So we can see this physical representation of the, of the frequency. And there'll be a certain point where the wave, the string will respond. Look at that, now. So, we're finding a point where the outgoing wave and the reflected wave build on each other to create large crests, large troughs. So that's a standing wave. This is the first order, it's called. It's, this is actually half of a wavelength. So that's pretty cool. We have a physical representation of something that we can't normally see. I mean, sound waves are around us all the time. You're listening to sound waves of me talk now, but you don't think about them as waves in the same way that this string is. So just there we had half a wavelength and we have an oscillator to control the frequency. What happens when we double the frequency? If I double the frequency, we'll see what we get. 8.8. .8. Okay. All right, so we'll go a little less than 18. This is one full wavelength now. This is vibrating about 18 times a second. All right, let me go up to uh, create one and a half wavelengths. One and a half wavelengths. And that's 27.4 times a second that that's vibrating. Imagine a wave pulse moving along a string. And it's approaching a second wave pulse. When those two pulses combine, they form a large wave pulse. And this is constructive interference. At other points, they'll, they'll cancel. And if they cancel, it will result in a flat spot on the wave. You can imagine that happening right here at the node. Perfect destructive interference. I can send a wave pulse through this. And it goes back and forth on the spring. And here's a chaotic frequency. It's not the line, the, they're not lined up. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no constructive interference. But if I find the right frequency, there we go. Now the outgoing waves are lining up with the reflected waves to make a standing wave. You're sitting there saying, Peter, you promised me strobe light action. Let's see what happens when we turn off the lights and add another variable. Dial in the frequency. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> you can even see it go slow on the edge. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, so what, like, what is happening right now? The frequency of the strobe uh -huh. is equal to the frequency of the string. So, so that's when it stays still? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Right there. If I see two images there, yeah. that means that I, the strobe is flashing twice during the one cycle. It's as if there are two strings. It's just the same string. You're seeing a string here, but then you're you're feeling a string here. Now it's hitting my finger, and that's that's weird to feel it when you can't see it. It looks like you could kind of sneak your finger right in there, right? But ah, oh, it doesn't work. It, you could never do it. It's physics, baby. So hello, thank you for watching. This was a really fun project. I really enjoyed going back to high school and seeing some old teachers and old friends. If you like these videos please let me know because I enjoy making them, but it's also nice to hear that you guys like watching them. So like, comment, subscribe, share it on Facebook. My name's Peter, this is The Brainwave, and I will see you next time.